Another really tough question that appears on both the instrument and commercial written tests deals with an aircraft departing an airport using a localizer backhorse and a VOR radial for the departure procedure. But let's not waste any time and see what I'm talking about. The question says, refer to figure 52 and 54. What is the aircraft's position relative to the habit intersection? The VOR number 2 is tuned to 116.5. So let's bring up the figures and the answers and let's see what all the fuss is about. Our aircraft is departing using the Santa Barbara localizer backhorse for guidance and the Gaviota VOR for range. And the answers? Places either left of the localizer and approaching the habit intersection, right of the localizer and approaching the habit intersection, or right of the localizer and past the habit intersection. So let's first discuss the airplane's position relative to the habit intersection and for this we will need the radio from the Gaviota VOR and the VOR receiver number 2 of the top figure. So as I said on the last slide let's take a look at figures 54 VOR number 2 which will help us determine whether we are past the habit intersection or approaching it. If we look at the tail of the VOR number 2 we can see that it's pointing to the 130 radial. And if we now align a compass rose with the Gaviota VOR as shown and extend the line from the center of the VOR to the 130 radial and then keep extending it to intersect the localizer course we can clearly see that the airplane is located about halfway between the airport and habit intersection. And as you can see from the animation as the airplane keeps heading on its departure course, the head of the needle will keep dropping until it reaches the 343 bearing to the station, head of the needle on 343, and tail of the needle on 163, which represents the habit intersection. At which point, on the departure procedure, we would turn northerly to an approximate heading of 343. This could have been enough to answer the whole question because if two answers put us past the habit intersection then we would be left only with one correct answer. But in this case it only helps us eliminate answer C as we cannot be past the habit intersection. On the next slide we will deal with the localizer itself to see whether we are left or right of its course. Now for the localizer itself you have to understand that it does not behave like a VOR at all. While you can track a VOR, meaning you're able to intercept a desired radial, a localizer allows you to only intercept one course, the one that will lead you to the runway. The localizer antenna sends out two signals, one modulated at 90 Hz and the other is modulated at 150 Hz. Your VOR receiver instrument knows that it's a localizer frequency because the frequency will be between 108.1 and 119.5 megahertz and only at odd intervals meaning 108.2 is a VOR frequency while 108.3 and 108.35 are localizer frequencies so the instrument will act in the following way if the airplane is located on the 90 hertz side of the localizer the needle will swing to the right telling you if inbound to fly to the right to intercept the localizer and vice versa, if the airplane is located on the 150 Hz side, then the needle will be on the left side, telling you to fly left to intercept the localizer. Now, keep in mind that the localizer has no idea whether you're flying inbound or outbound. So while outbound, to intercept the localizer, you actually need to fly in the opposite direction the needle points to. One way to track the localizer while flying is, if inbound, you are the ball, the large dot at the center of the VOR, and you need to fly to the needle. In this case here, you would need to fly right. And while outbound, you are the needle and need to fly to the ball, in this case here, left. But again, we at Pilot Training Solutions focus on the knowledge test and not on the actual flying. So for the test itself, all you need to do to answer these questions is pretend for a moment that you're flying inbound instead of outbound. In this case here, to figure out your position, let's pretend again that we're inbound 
And as you can see from the needle, we would need to turn to the right to intercept the localizer, meaning we are north of the localizer. So we can safely place our airplane on the north of the localizer. Now we can finally flip the airplane to show it's flying outbound as per the departure procedure, and there you have it. We already know that we are approaching the Habit intersection because of the previous slide, and we can now clearly see that we're also right off course. So the only answer remaining is right off course and approaching the Habit intersection. Answer B. And we at Pilot Training Solutions hope that you enjoyed this presentation. If you would like to see more presentations or would like to ace your FAA exam, just visit us at PassFAAexams.com where you can see more training videos or download a full chapter of one of our courses or purchase the full version, which again will just help you ace your FAA exams with simple concepts like this one.